we start, I would really like to share with you a very moving encounter I just had. I met this holiness uh, who had apparently seen that I was running to come here and his, his servants were, were <laughs> pushing the wheelchair and Maharaj was uh, wheeling behind me mm. and uh, I, when I, I became I still preach and inspire <laughs> uh, mm. I asked him Maharaj it must be difficult in this body how how is it is it for you and he said no no I'm fine wow man who is in this condition says he is fine his body is not fine what is fine is this wheelchair is that the reason why he says i'm fine he has a good wheelchair why does he say that he's fine and he meant it it came like in a humble way, honest way. I think because his heart is fine. I asked him, Maharaj, what is your secret that with such a uh, body you are traveling the world? And he said, gratitude. I feel <coughs> grateful to Srila Prabhupada because he has done really so much for us. And he was thinking of, of his disciples, you know, Prabhupada's disciples, and we are God brothers, so he has done so much. And I wish to somehow repay the debt, although it is not possible. I think you know how, how it works with Jai Bhattaka Maharaj. He says, something he, he says things and it's very difficult for an outsider to understand but he has a dolmetcher one of his disciples it was Mahavaraha Prabhu who could tra uh, translate in a way or or make his words you know intelligible and I was thinking wow when the heart beats with the gratitude which is one feeling one then he can <coughs> overcome or one can overcome physical limitations and uh, when our kirtan also has a strong heartbeat then there is something behind it then all the obstacles like distraction laziness perhaps unwillingness, lack of faith, and different weaknesses which we all have as human beings. All these things are parked at the side, they come on a parked place. We look at them later, like someone who has parked his car, he might visit the car later, but now it's about something else than the weaknesses and the obstacles for our kirtan. If we have a, a strong heartbeat, I am convinced that each one of you can become a very powerful Kirtan leader who inspires uh, many people, many new people. So yes, let us, I hear we have two sessions, I turn to Ram Govinda. Today and tomorrow at 9.15 in the morning. 9.15 in the morning, yes. So then I will give two presentations which are connected. Let me adjust <coughs> this one. Om 
Radaya Krishna Prashtaya Bhutale Shimate Bhadivedanta Swami to give you a little taste of the power of divine sound vibration. I hope you will not be shocked because the power is really strong. I will chant with you just one mantra that you are perhaps not accustomed to chant regularly. I will chant it one time alone and then we chant it all together. I request you, as you chant this mantra, to sit straight. Thank you. To center yourself. That means you will not do anything else during this time and focus entirely on the mantra. And chant, try to chant it not just with the body, means with the vocal cords, but bring your full attention, the attention of the heart to it. I will chant it one time alone, and then we will chant it perhaps five times together.
holy name of Lord Krishna is Krishna, not that he contains Krishna or that Krishna is in the holy name. Once one devotee explained to an audience, Krishna is in the holy name, and afterwards Srila Prabhupada requested the devotees to come. He wanted to speak with him in prayer and in private, and he said, where in the holy name is Krishna? Up or down or left or right? You said Krishna is in the holy name. Where exactly? <laughs> Not the holy. Did I say something wrong here? <laughs> yes, said Prabhupada. Krishna is the holy name. He's not in the holy name. But can we realize that? Here in this room there is oxygen. There's a little oxygen only because of the AC system, but some oxygen is here because without it we would all suffocate. Can you see the oxygen in the air? No. But you can feel that it, there must be some oxygen. In the same way we may not see that Krishna is the holy name, but without the divine presence, we wouldn't feel such joy, such happiness, such, we wouldn't feel the need to come towards to Sadhu Sangha and, 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 and sing, even if it's only a short time. Some of you, I know, have a lot of work on the mobile telephone to do and to, to meet people. <laughs> but all of us, even those who are chronically distracted, feel there is benefit, there, there, there is something divine, there's a lot. You can realize him if you bring the heart to your chanting. If you just produce the vocal uh, semblance of the holy name, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, uh, voice recording thing on internet can also do that. But the computer has no heart when it says Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. It is not a sound vibration that will really mm, impress Krishna and make him reciprocate. He also doesn't know how will Krishna reciprocate to a comp with a computer. This, I mean, maybe switch him off, but <laughs> uh, we human beings have a heart, a seed of emotions. And uh, if we only chant with the body, it's uh, the mechanic chanting which also a computer could do. There are good voice programs now who can... Um, I once heard a voice program it sounded exactly like Sachinanda Swami. And the voice program was actually programmed to give a lecture. But when I heard the voice program speaking, I said, this, this has no heart. <laughs> and what he says is uh, just uh, sticking a few sentences together which, which, he, which were, were fed into him. But he's not enthusiastic, <laughs> the computer. The heart and chanting distinguishes us from a machine. And here comes the secret. Only if you chant with the heart will you not, not chant mechanically. And only when you chant with uh, this spontaneous enthusiasm only if you don't chant mechanically, then you will be able to be nourished, fed, inspired, 
spiritually enlivened by your chanting. Yes? No? It's in Great Britain, uh, we would ask, does this make sense to you? There has to be an element in the chanting so that the chanting is not mechanic and that is what is the heart of Kirtan. Mm. I remember my first exposure to Kirtan was on the streets of Hamburg when there was snow going, snow falling. There were devotees before a department store, a huge store like Walmart, Walmart, in Walmart. Walmart. Thank you, Walmart. And uh, they were doing the Swami step, going dancing back and forth, and. I was immediately intrigued. I was young at the time, perhaps 12 years or 13 years. And my mother had gone with me to this German version of Walmart in, in order to buy birthday presents for my older brother. My mother said, you know what he likes. But when I was standing before the Kirta party, I just couldn't tear myself away from them and then they said my mother said come on we came here for your brother not for these strangers and so I went with my mother and I was able to choose one present but my, my mother wanted to buy many presents for my brother and after one I said mother I have to go to pass urine Mothers always know, so they said, okay, then go down to your nonsense people. You don't have to lie to your mother. <laughs> <laughs> so yeep, I went down with mother's permission and stood just before Kirtan and I immediately wanted to chant also. So I went to one devotee and said, can you write down the, 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 what you, the words here? And he said, he said in broken German, he was from America, but he knew some German from his German grandmother. He said, dieses mantra sehr gut. This mantra is very good. <laughs> <laughs> so I took the piece of paper where he wrote down the mantra with me and did not chant for an entire year. Then, my parents were at a ball, dancing, and the uh, uh, house was empty, and I knew at 12 o'clock midnight there would be Frankenstein in the TV. Do you know who is Frankenstein? Yeah. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> so, I was not allowed to see horror movies when I was alone in the house because I was so impressionable. But I knew where the key was hidden to the TV. So I opened the, the cupboard, saw Frankenstein, and afterwards spent the most horrible time in my life. I remember <laughs> it even now. On my way to my, my sleeping room, there were, believe it or not, I saw Frankenstein coming 50 times at me. <laughs> and I thought he was hiding in the bathroom. Then I passed the bathroom. And I thought he was coming out to kill me and eat me and maybe and do terrible things to me. I passed the sleeping room of my older brother and thought he's hiding in there. I know. Finally, I made it to my sleeping room alone and still intact. Frankenstein had not killed me. And I uh, went, I had a high bed, and I slept, uh, where I slept, so I went inside the bed. I put the bed cover over me 
and was dying from fear. I, I had forgotten also to go to the bathroom. I drank in a lot and I was having that problem. But the fear problem was so much more difficult than everything. So, so I remember, what can help me now? I was asking and the answer came. You know, they met these people who were dressed in a very extraordinary way and they gave you the mantra and he said, these are mantras, they are good. So I took the slit of paper with me under my bed cover. I put it, I had a torch there and the whole night I sang Hare Krishna yeah. and, and, and felt no fear and Frankenstein didn't come. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, <laughs> the light, I could see under, under the bed cover, the, there was light outside. I felt blissful and saved because Frankenstein was for sure in that apartment ready to kill me. <laughs> I have even now no doubt. <laughs> that, that's how intensely I felt it. I chanted and I had, while I was chanting, I went through a phase. First of all, I thought, how strange, I can't believe I'm saying this. Hare Krishna. <laughs> and then I have to sing it. Hare Krishna. I can't believe I'm doing it. I'm from a good family. <laughs> <laughs> Hare Krishna. Krishna, Krishna. Hare, Hare. I sang the song without heart. I just sang it. And it was becoming difficult. Then at one stage, I still remember, I thought, who is this Krishna? I mean, his name is there. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Then again, Krishna, Krishna. Who is this Krishna? And somehow deep in my heart, I remember Krishna, Indian Hindu God, and started to pray to him, please save me from Frankenstein. I chanted, and my chanting got some heart, some feeling there. As I continued to chant, more and more and more, the feeling, I remember I was so grateful, I became joyful, I started to move <laughs> under my bed cover. <laughs> if Frankenstein sees me now, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, and I remember when I finally took off the bed cover, I said, I, I must find out who's this Krishna. It, it really worked for me. And uh, it was only a short time afterwards when I got a book about Krishna, started to read, etc., 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 fast forward, fast forward, fast forward, crisis. After 25 years of practicing Krishna consciousness, I was in a crisis. My crisis was that I had mm, come to this movement with the hope to change my heart, <coughs> my, my, if you so want, my whole disposition, my whole, but I could see I was envious on others, I was disturbed that someone could distribute so much more literature than me, I was sometimes very angry still when I wouldn't have my way and I could see when I'm chanting I'm really bored if I'm very honest at that time I didn't we didn't have mobile telephones so when you're bored you can look at the whatsapp messages and pretend you are there in the kirtan hall um, it's possible, but I, I was uh, 
nothing had changed so much. And then, then I decided I have two options. Either I leave the movement for good, mm. or I see how the process might work as chanting of Hare Krishna. And uh, then I uh, took a lot of research. I asked many devotees, also God Brothers of Srila Prabhupada. I really made an inquiry and I understood I had missed the heart of Kirtan all this while. I had some heart. I chanted with some emotion uh, when I was uh, taking shelter at Krishna's lotus feet in order to gain help against Frankenstein. Uh, but uh, I lost my heart. Many of your generation have lost the heart of Kirtan. Many. You are extremely fortunate that you are mm, still there. In the Radha Dish Mellows, I met one young person and said, he said to me, Maharaj, I don't feel anything. Of course, when I'm with, the, with my other peers, we eat pizza and we talk about women and so on, but I don't feel any spiritual thing. And I'm here to see if I can cure this. Any tip? I said, you need to recover your lost heart, the heart of Kirtan. Here is what I would do. My dear devotees, when you chant Kirtan, the first thing is you have to be present. <laughs> like Kadamba Kanana Maharaj said, mm, okay, I'm now in the Kirtan, I have booked my seat, now I need to get in the rhythm of the train. And then I'm bound home, I'm bound, no, means I'm directed, um, I'm, I'm going to Goloka Vindavan. First of all, my dear devotees, you have to be present in the Kirtan and not just your body. If you're there in the Kirtan and you do your emails or WhatsApp messages, or, okay, Ram Govinda might not give you prasadam, or your, your youth leaders do not give you prasadam. So, okay, you put your thing back, your, 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 your distraction mobile phone, and you put it to the side, but you are thinking something unrelated to the kirtan. I don't think I need to give you examples. You know better than me. How often our mind spaces out. Our mind is like a monkey. Have you seen the monkeys in Vindavan? Sometimes they grab something, sometimes they, they, they drop it. They swim, swing from one branch to another. Then at times they are very, they're threatening. <coughs> <laughs> then the next moment they shriek with fear. <laughs> And then they dash and gallop somewhere where you, you can't find that, that there's any reason to go there. <laughs> In the same way, the mind, the monkey mind, the audition mind, when you chant the holy names, will also become distracted. It will grab some thought, it will reject some thought, it will feel threatened, oh, why did so-and-so say like this? Or, what did he mean when he looked at me and said something which was not a compliment? What did he mean? You're f afraid, perhaps, that you're... And so on. There are many thoughts which will go on. Be present. That's the first thing. And um, what you can do while the chanting goes on, 
Whenever you see your mind go somewhere, bring it back to, to the, into the train. The sound vibration of the holy name. <coughs> Sometimes I see devotees. They chant and then all, all of a sudden they have a thought. <laughs> They're leaving the train of the kirtan. <laughs> the mind has taken them out, out of the window of the train, or <laughs> the door of the train. Whenever you notice this, my dear devotees, say to yourself, good, I noticed my mind going somewhere. Now I can bring it back. Most of the time we don't notice it. Our mind gets into a mood. It feels sad or happy or it feels, feels full of interest in the opposite gender. Do you know what that is? I don't know if my English is... Do we say opposite gender? Once I had uh, one Mataji he came to me and said, Maharaj, the whole Kiran, I was only thinking about so and so. And why does he grow as a beard on the upper lip? Why? What's the reason? I said, Mataji, <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, there must be a reason. Ask him if you are. Uh, no, 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 no. Um, but something I know is your kirtan was without heart. Your mind was not there. It was about be beards. <laughs> you know, not a very tasty subject matter. <laughs> I can tell you, I know. <laughs> uh, there's no rush inside, rasa, no taste. But you, why have you left the kirtan? You, ent you came to the kirtan. Don't let your mind take you out, not even because of a upper lip beard. <laughs> <laughs> so, oft, so, so be present with the body, but be also present with the mind. That is a secret. For that we have to, and secret is not the word, that requires some training. I always say to myself, at least for the time when I'm in Kirtan, I want to be in the Kirtan and not think of so many other things. So other, so many other duties and so and, and also nonsense. Uh, no, I want to be in the kirtan fully. Wherever your mind is, my dear devotee, it's, it's there where you really are. I, I was a very bad student, a pupil, and uh, sometimes, you know. I had a very active nightlife mm, and uh, listened to music, went to concerts, movies, so on. And when I would come back in the school, to the school, I was uh, doing the classes which were absolutely boring for, mm, for me. I was going, visiting the places where I was, revisiting. Be, uh, for instance, I, I had lived on an island and then went to the, uh, to the coast and then Jimi Hendrix came to the island. He was one of our stars and he gave a fantastic concert. Um, and I had been, uh, I had vacated the school, I had dropped the school to be there for the concert. And when I was back in the school, 
I was thinking in the cl class, Hey Joe, that was one of the songs. Mm. Mm. And then at the end, the teacher came and said, what was the class about? Some educational subject. <laughs> <laughs> said, I like you, you're a young boy, very creative, but I have to teach you, tell me the, the, what you remember. If I'm very honest with you, I remember this, hey Joe, <laughs> <laughs> I was absent-minded. And the teacher was a nice person, Jimi Hendrix, eh? And he said, yes, 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 I was at the concert. Mm. And then the teacher said, you have to decide where you want to be in your life. Uh, these things you will need to know in order to, uh, to do a few things in this world, and uh, you have to be present. If you are on the island, on a concert in your mind, you are really not present in this classroom. And I've, I have just tested uh, you, I have asked you to repeat even one word from the class which I was giving. It was on, on my, fav uh, my, my un unfavorite subject that was mathematics. Mathematics or Latin language, uh, one of these highly useful things. <laughs> uh, uh, and uh, mm, mm, don't, don't even remember because I was not there in the classroom, only my body was there. My dear devotees, the same is with Kirtan. And sadly, we are chanting the holy names while keeping our heart, our memory, our thoughts somewhere else. When you do, when you are doing kirtan, try to be there entirely. I will end here this first session. Mm. Do we have oxygen in this room? <laughs> this, uh, we have the door open. Yes. So there is good, 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 good. How are we present when we ch can we be present in the chanting of the holy name? I think what Mahatma Prabhu said was so nice. These are three affirmations. For it starts with, I want to chant. You, you might say, Maharaj, if I'm very honest, I don't want to. I want, to, I want to be the people with friends. That's why I'm in the kirtan. But I think this is not true. I think every one of us wants to chant because in our hearts we know that in the chanting, when we chant, we become clear, become free from miseries, and I heard the word prasadam a mo minute ago, we get prasadam. <laughs> Some of you talked about prasadam, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let us make a test. What were we just talking about, Prabhu? Extremely sympathetic. Don't think it's aggressiveness that I asked you this question. This Prabhu was thinking about Pusharam, <laughs> perhaps already since 15 minutes. <laughs> and one of his friends had to tell him something related to Pusharam. No? Can you see? He was here in the room. But was he really in the room? <laughs> No, no, thank you, Prabhu. It is not, not aggressiveness. We are just making a point. You are where your mind is. You were most probably swimming in a bowl of 
Sweeterize. <laughs> You must all agree, this Prabhu is supremely sympathetic. Uh, it is, uh, you're not, you're not, you have, can you forgive me? <laughs> but this happens to all of us. Maybe it's not a bowl of sweet rice where we are, but other things, our, our mental stuff and it is necessary if you want to have the effects of kirta becoming free from miseries becoming free from your teenage problems if you are a teenager becoming free from your romantic problems uh, becoming free from these mood swings which all of us fe feel um, becoming do you know when you after kirtan, you sometimes see the world, the things of the world different. And do you know, the moment you start to see the things different, the things also become different. You meet different people, you meet different occasions, opportunities. But only if you learn to be present in the kirtan. And as I was uh, uh, trying to say, you're fully present in the kirtan when your kirtan becomes either a glorification of Krishna or it becomes a prayer to Krishna or it becomes an appreciation of Krishna. At that time, you do Krishna kirtan and not sweet rice kirtan. <laughs> hmm? When you think of Krishna, therefore, uh, uh, we have one, uh, uh, please help me, Acharya, Gurkishur Das Babaji, he would chant and he would chant before the written letters of the Holy name. How do you call this, the written letters of the holy name? Spelling. Yeah. <laughs> Spelling? <laughs> that is. Yeah. It's, it's in Sanskrit, Nam Brahma. The Nam, who is absolutely spiritual. Mm, that is, he would chant before this Nam Brahma. Mm written letter in Sanskrit and and he then once he said if you chant like this focusing on the letters of the holy name Radha and Krishna will come out of this letters and you will see them so yes fully be fully present to the chanting of the holy name dump your mind if necessary or the monkey mind, the monkey part of the mind, <laughs> running, and uh, be fully present, best is in a devotional mood. And then Krishna will reciprocate with you. I will end with a Kirtan story of the real Madhava. Do you know the real Madhava? I, uh, Maharaj with the baby is the Madhava who sings this evening, not the real Madhava. <laughs> Listen, please, I'm talking of a Madhava from the 15th century. He loved chanting. He was always absorbed in chanting. And actually, he was also a dancer. He would at times just put anchor bells on his legs. That, and he would, while he chanted, and then he would dance and chant and give 
And he thought, let me use my body also to give pleasure to Krishna by dancing. The king of the country who saw the real Madhava thought, he's a fake. Who knows why he puts anchor belts on the feet? Do men put anchor belts on the feet? No, at least not in my kingdom. So he arranged a big kirtan event uh, uh, on the roof of his palace. It was a flat roof and invited the real Madhava. And everyone came. Many came because the Madhava would get into ecstatic, at least it looked like ecstasy. He would, he would dance, he would jump, he would say, Hi, ball! Very loud. This was nothing. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the king had no fence on the roof of his palace. And underneath that place, or let us say next to the place, he put the kitchen with the big pots. And one pot was boiling ghee. So the real Madhava, when he heard the holy name, he became so excited. He started to chant. <laughs> so, like the king had planned, he danced so enthusiastically and he forgot that he's on a roof and he fell from the roof directly into the ghee pot. Mm. Yes, and ghee is, burns the skin. If you, if, when, you, when any human being falls into a pot of boiling ghee, that's the end. That's one method of torture and of killing someone. The real Madhava fell head first from the, it was three stories high into the ghee pot because the roof had no fence and he was an ecstatic chanter and dancer. But my dear devotees, the real Madhava had chanted with heart. He, he, he was not a fake. He had actually chanted the love of God and, and uh, Krishna came to his protection. The moment you chant with your heart, your kirtan, Krishna will reciprocate with you. As long as you chant kirtan without a heart, it will be, some benefit will be there. And of course, when the rhythm is strong, we will move our body accordingly. But the deep spiritual benefit is not yet so strong at that time. So recover your lost heart. Perhaps read prayers of Narutam Dastarko. That's what I do. I always I don't have it. It's here. See? I have this red bag. And in it I have always my prayer book. I always he is always with me, even in the airplanes um, and, and everywhere, my prayer book. Because then I can chant with the heart. Be with nice devotees, like today we uh, spoke with uh, Holiness Jai Pataka Maharaj, and I can say it touched my heart. And I will, will remember. Yes, Mar then Maharaj said, I asked Maharaj, do you have a desire in your life? Yes, I want to dance. I said, you will dance either in this life or in another. Yes, uh, put some heart. And the heart comes when you meet devotees and they, they talk to you and give you perspectives. Yes? I some I in the past I I, I also do, do these holy name retreats, my own retreats where I just chant the morning the whole day. In the past I chanted 
many, many rounds, way above 100 rounds each day. Mm. And uh, sometimes I noticed my lips became dry and my vocal cords empty. There were no names. I remember, why, why can't I chant any longer? And then, after some time, the chanting went on. And I could chant again. And you know what made the difference? I could chant with some heart. I remembered, oh Krishna, you are there. You are hearing me. Please, I'm trying, but I'm failing. I'm out of breath. Vocal cords are no longer there in functioning order. But please... Uh, you please help me. And my heart <coughs> reached out to him and at that time everything went very nice. <laughs> Don't forget your heart. In Germany we have the story of the man who sold his heart to Hollander Michel. That's a fairy tale person. Hollander Michel said, I give you a, 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 a heart of marble if you give me my if, me, if you give me your heart. And the man said, what else do you give me if I give you my heart? Wealth, name, fame. I give you everything, said this, with Hollander Michel. How, how to express it? Michel, his name is Michel. That's one, what was his name? No, then he got a, a marble heart. And he could only think about money with that heart. He could only think about, nowadays, Facebook, you know, or whatever. Um, he had lost his real heart. We have lost our Krishna heart. Now we need to bring it back. But I think all of you are very, very qualified. Why? Because you came here and I have met some of you on the Zoom. Some... Yosh or Yash? Yash, yeah. Hmm? Two PSI sessions in a marriage and during the pandemic. Yeah. And many people here were on that call. Oh, yeah. We saw each other in the computer before. <laughs> this is my first take on the heart of uh, chanting. It means the devotional heart. Have you sometimes heard devotees say, chant with your heart? They don't mean the physical heart. But <laughs> the, 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 the voice said, that's what I thought, no? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you were mistaken. <laughs> they don't, don't chant with a, a romantic heart. You know, in, in Italy, do you have you have you visited Italy? It's all about romantic feelings, you know. Giovanni goes, I'm, I'm <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, Giovanni is an amor at the moment. Uh, that's the romantic heart, the place where feelings arise. We mean the spiritual heart where the soul is and the super soul. It's here, the real self. <laughs> Hare Krishna. Is this Deva key there? No. I can't see it very far. De Deva is Deva key here? No. It's hot though. So, what do you all think? <laughs> what does this mean? <laughs> it could be anything. Hari Bull, it's over. Soon, <laughs> soon I get my sweet bar, sweet bar, sweet bar rice. <laughs> your, your good name, Prabhu? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Sanu. Sanu, you are a very kind-hearted person. No, Sanu. Sanu, yeah? Wonderful. What do you think? Haribo, you think? Is this the, oh, it could mean many things, no? When they, when they, when the Chaitanya Leela devotees took uh, uh, the lake and all took buckets and, and got water in the buckets from India Jumna Lake and they brought it to the Gundicha to wash the Gundicha temple, they would say everything with Hari Bola. Hari Bola. <laughs> 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 That meant, give me the bucket. Or, hide the hole. That meant, take the bucket. <laughs> oh, hide the hole. When do we stop and eat? <laughs> so, hide uh, the is uh, means. Uh, is, is this making sense to you that we should not just mechanically perform, but something with our devotional heart? which means we should address Krishna. Yes. It makes sense. Yes. Good. So how can we practice this in Sadhu Sangha? Any idea? I have an idea. Why don't you turn to your neighbor now? I go with Shanu. <laughs> Shanu, Shanu, please come here and we will discuss. <laughs> So Sanu is my neighbor, my 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 partner in t discussing. <laughs> uh, please, everyone, turn to a neighbor. Just any anyone, just who happens to be next to you. <laughs> who has not yet found a neighbor? That is quite amazing, no? Imagine it, you found your neighbor. Good. Now please discuss with your neighbor how could you check, uh, enter the heart of Kirtan here in Sadhu Sangha? What could you perhaps do while you do Kirtan? Is this a good question? Yes. Because we, and often when we hear our neighbor talk to us, we think, wow, oh, good, that's another perspective. Then I will actually let out. So start now, please talk with your neighbor. Be more present and focusing on the name and non-people and reaching out and being like, 
keep it trying to see through the externals. Like, okay, maybe the externals may not be so beneficial for what I I generally like or my mood, or, but it's still the holy name. And trying to reach out and focus, use that as a meditation to focus on just the, whole, the name itself. And that's something I specifically want to focus on during the actually. Uh, what would the name be? What would have the physical environment be more conducive for well, personally for me, I'm, like that's just with a general. I'm not a fan of stage group festivals because I feel like there's some kind of disconnect with the stage. And it feels more performative. So that that's my personal taste. It's not there's so many people love it. So it's so for me, it's sometimes hard to connect when I'm sitting in the audience. I feel like I'm part of the kirtan, it's like a congregational thing. So it's just like a personal thing. But now, to even mentally go past maybe something that I'm not. You have 30 more seconds, 30 seconds, zero, three, zero. I know for my this is very little. <laughs> participating. I hope it was useful. Tomorrow comes part two, the heart of Kirtan. I will tell you some, some traditional Kirtan stories and we will see if we can do some, some Kirtan. I thought we don't, we use all the time because there was Kirtan before and here is no lack of Kirtan. <laughs> I thank you so much. It was a genuine Mm, uh, pleasure and please forgive me I'm sometimes feeling a little bit because uh, English is not my mother tongue maybe in my attempt to enthuse you I'm saying the wrong words so if if that happens please forgive me I, I'm learning your language no? <laughs> Hare Krishna so Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Thank you so much, Maharaj, and this is such a blessing that I can hear from you, and I feel so tuned in and ready. I feel all of us can share that feeling that we can go back into the kirtan to put our mind away and be present. Tomorrow we'll be here for part two. Please, please come. We'll be in the same room, but a different time. 9.15 we'll start sharp, and I know that's after breakfast, so I suggest when right after Bhagavatam class, please get your plate eat a little quickly and so we can be here a little early to start on time. Or you can reserve that, that you, you tell a friend to get me to take <laughs> and eat it afterwards. 
All the best. Hare Krishna. <laughs> Jai 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 Jai